Uh, Lon Jean's Golden Slipper Day is Australia's biggest day of Group 1 racing. Five Group 1 races, the world's richest race for two-year-olds and the world's best mare on turf in Winx, so who could want for more? She has. She, uh, we travel all day Sunday and arrive mid-afternoon Sunday and settled in really good and uh, been up here this morning, had a gallop and got through, the, got through the gallop really good and she's home resting right now. Yeah, they're both, both trekking and very nil are both nice colts. Uh, I thought Charles trekking, you know, he's, he's a nice colt. Uh, I think he has a bit of untapped potential. He had a good run in uh, Canberra last time out. Looks like he's gearing up for a, for a big run on Saturday. So, look, he has, he's got a very tough barrier um, and he's gonna need a, we're going to need a bit of luck from, from there. But um, I think he's a, he's a nice colt and I think he's a colt that will have an impact on the race. Yeah, um, look, it's first year as a trainer um, for a slipper and um, to have a run is pretty amazing. Couldn't have been happier with his preparation. Um, we planned to go to the skyline, he was able to tick that box. He's won over 1,200, he's won in heavy ground, so we're happy to be here Saturday. I think uh, Viranello will get through it. The other horse, uh, Trekking, he's he's run on soft ground in a trial and seemed to get through it pretty well from uh, the jockey's reports when he came back in. So, um, look, he's um, good horses handle any ground. Preparation's been faultless. Um, the filly obviously wasn't by design that she got beaten last start, but it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, she's done well since the race. The track work's been uh, really good, very sharp workout this morning. And, um, you know, the Colt, well, he's, he won well last Saturday. He's got the residual fitness to back up with. If it turns into a real slog, um, you know, he'll, he'll be, he'll be uh, benefited by the run last weekend and he seems as bright as a button.